Who cares if I have all that stuff if I literally have moldy plants? Moldy plants in my room. So... Hi guys. So, it is almost 2023. Which feels... So weird to say because I feel like it's low-key still 2020 but at the same time 2023 seems like fitting like I'm mentally kind of in 2023 but I'm also like mentally kind of in 2020. I feel like a lot of the goals that I've set for myself in the past have just not been attainable or realistic at all and then I just end up feeling worse about myself because I can't follow through with this new lifestyle. That being said, I do love the concept of using the new year as like an opportunity to kind of like reset my life, declutter, reorganize, and just kind of like reflect on my life choices. So yeah, this video is definitely going to be a lot of things all in one. We'll see if I actually accomplish everything that I originally I'm setting out to accomplish. I'm gonna be organizing my room, organizing my closet, organizing my bathroom, getting rid of a lot of clothes, and then probably buying some new clothes. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna be focusing on is I'm gonna be tidying, tie tidying slash reorganizing my room and I'm not going to be doing like a full-on room makeover because I do plan on doing that potentially in the foreseeable upcoming future. I have a lot of different areas that I'm going to be focusing on organizing slash cleaning in this video but I'm starting with the room because I feel like when you walk into the room like yes there's the bathroom the bathroom's bad yes there's the closet the closet's bad but the room is also bad and there's just like a lot of clutter that needs to be organized okay so this is the current state of the room over here we have the desk area which is terrible so i'm gonna go through this desk oh my word <laughs> okay oh okay Okay, um, I have so much clutter inside of this desk drawer and it's been bothering me for literally at least a year now So I'm gonna go ahead clean that out. Just get rid of anything that I don't use Um, and then over here is like my little tech corner This is where I literally throw my tech stuff like my cameras my chargers in this bag I have like all of that type of stuff and in 2023 We're not gonna put up with this type of stuff anymore Like I need to be more organized and like actually take care of my technology Which I feel like I do but at the same time I kind of just throw it around and it kind of collects dust which is not good and then over here we have a bunch more clutter so first of all we have the pile of clothes here and this is a really bad habit that I have I'll wear clothes and then like they're not dirty enough to need to be washed and then instead of just putting them away as I should I lay them on the floor and I kind of just get this pile of like half clean clothes that need to be put away so i'm going to be putting that away and hopefully stopping this bad habit in the future we'll see and then here i have some like christmas gifts that i still need to put away my backpack which i'm actually going to be washing like just throwing it through the washing machine because it's not cute it has like it has like a bunch of dirt on it and it's just it's gone through a lot of stuff um just like random boxes gifts also one of you guys sent me the cutest little like i think it's crocheted and i think it's like supposed to be a jellyfish i don't know what it is but it is adorable and i love it and if you sent this to me i love you with my whole heart and this is absolutely adorable as you can probably tell i kind of got overwhelmed when it comes to like needing to organize stuff but my older sister is so good with this type of stuff so the other day she went out with me and helped me pick out a bunch of like containers and little organizers i feel like she really helped me to find some good stuff so all of these containers here are what i'm gonna be using what i'm gonna be <laughs> Okay, they're what I'm gonna be using to organize. I feel like if I really put my mind to it, it shouldn't take any more than an hour. Like I'm just gonna listen to some music, maybe watch a YouTube video and just try to like really focus. <laughs> Just took everything out of the drawer put it onto the floor here and i'm gonna just sort it out hopefully throw a lot of stuff away Okay. 
Okay, so I just finished cleaning up the desk area and it is taking me so much longer than I thought. I don't know if it's just like actually taking longer if like my attention span is preventing me from like working efficiently. I think it's a little bit of both. One of my sister was helping me shop for bins. She had this one specific kind of like bin. It was like the, this like rolling stand type of thing in mind and we couldn't find it at Target. So I think I'll eventually get that. But for now, I'm just gonna use one of these clear bins. I got four of these originally for the closet, but I'm just gonna steal one of them temporarily and use it to store all of my little like tech things in because this is not working. It's not gonna work. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to like organize all of my tech the best I can. Also, while I'm doing this, I'm watching the movie Flipped. It's actually free on YouTube, but it's just such a good like classic sweet story and I love it. I think the last time I watched it, I was cleaning too. And I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of fitting, like kind of gets me in the cleaning mood, which sounds kind of weird, but yeah, I'm gonna go do this. And keep moving my way around the room and yeah. So I got this at Target and this is gonna be my little like, I don't wanna say knickknack, but like odds and ends type of basket bin. And then in the back here, I'm gonna have all my records. Okay, so I finished tidying up the room. Okay, so I just realized I said I got it done. There's still like a few little things that have to get done. Um, like I need to take all this trash out. Um, over here, all this is the stuff that goes in my backpack and I put my backpack in the wash. So the next thing that I need to do is clean slash organize the bathroom. Our bathroom has been a mess for a while now and I was like, you know what? It's time to finally get organized. While I was at Target the other day, I got these two like organizers to put skincare in one for my sister one for me because I'll show you in a second but the way that we have our skincare now everything is out on the counter everything is just like all over the place so hopefully most of our things will fit in these organizers and also these are like really heavy like these are concrete like they're actually I would say each about probably like three to five pounds and then I got us a new toothbrush holder organizer whatever you want to call it because we've had the same one ever since we moved here and it's pink it's crusty it definitely has like bacteria all kinds of stuff living on it I got these organizers for like my makeup drawer and then just like little drawers wherever they fit in so this is what we are working with as you can see things all over the counter um this is my sister's sink and then this is my sink um this is the first drawer this is the one that we share but as you can see there's stuff everywhere if we want something we literally have to dig and then we have my makeup drawer which is a mess there's like stuff everywhere products just kind of get gross and like kind of worn down just from like sitting in here like this someday i really want to get like a huge not huge but like some sort of like actual makeup organizer but i think for now we're just gonna like try to organize the drawer make it look a little better and then this is like my sink so all the stuff underneath here is mine and this is what it looks like it's kind of a mess a few months ago i got this organizer and i made it look really nice and neat under here and since then it's kind of gone downhill again so i'll just kind of spend some time organizing this making it look a little bit neater and yeah like i said just kind of wiping down things making things look a little more organized neat
Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover to hopefully make these clips a little less boring because I know that like fast motion stuff can get boring. Um, but basically what I did here is I took all of my makeup out of the drawers and did my best to try to organize them into these bins by like category. I didn't do it perfectly. It's not perfect, but it definitely looks a little bit better and it's a little more organized. And then I moved on to organizing underneath the sink, which was a task. I just basically took everything out and then put it back in. So in the end, it really didn't look that much more organized. And now that it's like a month or two later, it looks even worse than it did in the before clips here if it makes sense like it, it didn't really do anything but it does still feel good to do this every once in a while to like somewhat make it look better but yeah anyway i'm just like rambling and saying random stuff but as you can see here i'm cleaning okay so i finally finished cleaning the bathroom it took me so long and i didn't even do like a proper cleaning but it felt really good just to kind of like get things organized i threw out a lot of like old products something that i feel like i really need to work on is just like not having emotional attachment to old products or like things that i don't use anymore if it's expired if i don't use it it needs to go because i don't want to put that on my face um and i got this whole trash bag of things to throw away so i'm gonna throw that out and yeah i'm gonna continue tomorrow on this journey of getting my life together resetting my life and yeah i will see you guys in the morning good morning guys so it is day two of reorganizing my life resetting my life i'm gonna be cleaning out my closet getting rid of any clothes that basically like don't bring me joy any clothes that i don't like any clothes i don't wear and then hopefully at the end of this video i can do a little clothing haul because i was doing some online shopping this morning and i think I'm gonna order a bunch of stuff. I don't wanna clutter it, so I'll just try to get like a few basics or like really good quality clothes that I know I'm gonna love. Um, and then, you know, do a little haul for you guys. So the first step is to go inside and I'll give you guys a little mate. And, and I'll give you, I'm gonna, Okay, so this is what the closet looks like, little run through overview. It is messy, but it's not the worst it's ever been. It used to be so bad that there was like stuff here you couldn't even walk in. Um, so over here we have some of my clothes, some of my sister's clothes. Um, I think most of these up here are my clothes because I have a lot of clothes. Um, we have shoes. This is definitely very unorganized. Under here I have a box of like sentimental things, things from like my childhood that I don't really use anymore, but I don't want to throw them away. Um, and then also over here is just like a bunch of random stuff. I did buy some containers to hopefully just like organize this better. So the first and most important thing that I'm gonna be tackling is the clothes. So I'm gonna go through, take everything off of the hangers, which I know is gonna be such a pain to put back up, but I'm gonna take everything off and then really just reflect on each piece. So I'm gonna ask myself, does it bring me joy? Like, do I really, really like this piece? And then the main thing is how do I feel when I wear this piece? Because I have a lot of things in my closet that I think are cute, but then whenever I wear them, I don't feel confident. And I think it's just because like, I can appreciate it. I think it's cute, but it's not actually my style. Or maybe there's like a bad memory link to that piece of item. It's a little bit of a mix of both. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through, sort things out. And then I'm either gonna keep the clothes, sell it on Depop or give it to my friends slash siblings. Like if they don't want it, it'll go on Depop. Okay, so I finally oh, I look like an egg. I finally finished organizing all the clothes and it took me a little bit longer because I got distracted um, watching stuff, but I am finally finished. 
this is what we're working with so over here we have the pile of things that i'm gonna sell slash donate slash give away and i'm like pretty happy with what i decided to get rid of a lot of things i was like you know what it's cute but it doesn't spark joy it doesn't make me happy so the next course of action is gonna be the annoying part but i'm gonna put all of the clothes that i'm keeping back in the closet back in my drawers and Ooh. yo Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna put away all the clothes. Yeah, okay, um, yeah, okay. Mm, <laughs> it's taking forever. Okay, hi, so it's voiceover me again. I hate doing voiceovers for some reason, but uh, here we are making the video more interesting. So basically what I was doing here is, as I already explained, putting all the clothes back in the closet. And this was definitely harder than taking like everything out of the closet because it just takes more work to like put something back together than like tear it apart, which is kind of like deep and psychological if you think about it. We're not gonna get into that, but um, yeah, this is what I was doing here. We'll, we'll let the music play for a little bit. Okay, so then after all my clothes were put away, I did a tiny bit of like organizing with just the random clutter in the closet. And I didn't really put like a ton of time. Actually, let's kind of lie, I put like an hour or two of time into this, but like compared to the other things, I didn't put as much time into this, but it was definitely needed just to do like a little bit of organizing. As I said, I bought those clear plastic bins from Target. So I used those, did a little bit of organizing. You know, it looks better. It's not crazy, but it's improvement and it's more organized. And then I also went through my boxes of sentimental things, organized it better, just kind of like transferring over and making things look better. of organizing getting my life together one of the last steps of like organizing getting my life together was to get my car clean because i haven't washed the exterior of my car in probably like a month or two which is definitely not good um so i just did that went through the car wash and now i'm gonna go home and clean the interior of my car because it is looking bad there's crumbs it's not cute she's not looking good um so yeah i'm gonna go home do that
Hi guys, so it's actually a few weeks into the new year. As you guys saw, I got rid of a lot of clothes and because I got rid of so many clothes, I had an overwhelming urge to buy some new clothes and I didn't buy like a ton and it did take some time for everything to come, but everything has finally arrived. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little haul of all the clothes that I got. I do have something that I need to show you guys before I get started because it's on my chest and I need to show you um, however, it is really, really embarrassing and I feel like finding this just made me realize how much I need to clean my room again because I know I, I technically like cleaned it up and like tidied it in this video, but finding this made me like question myself and like my self-respect. So let me just, let me just, let me just show you guys. Um, so me and my sister always keep our blinds closed. I don't know why we just like, I don't know if we just get too lazy to open the blinds or like what the deal is. Um, but we don't really ever open the blinds and today I was like, you know what? I'm filming. Maybe I'll open the blinds So I open up the blinds and I find this thing of flowers that I bought weeks weeks we like weeks ago like weeks ago It's moldy like it's moldy. It's moldy guys It's moldy and also like this plant back here has not been watered in probably like two months so needless to say I am embarrassed and I feel like this entire video I'm a failure like this entire video has been a flop because I literally have moldy plants like who cares if I have like new clothes Cleaned out bathroom, which by the way is getting messy again Who cares if I have all that stuff if I literally have moldy plants moldy plants in my room, so So starting off with probably my favorite thing yet so These are black parachute pants from jaded London and I do gotta say they were super expensive Um like for pants for what I usually tend to get they were like a hundred and $10 including shipping. I did research on like which brand has the best quality, best fit, best like colors, all of that type of stuff. And Jaded London just kept coming up and I kept looking at these pants and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna splurge and get them because I know that they're gonna last me for a long time. And I'm so happy with this purchase. Like I've already worn them so many times. Um, they're definitely super, super baggy. Um, that's definitely the vibe that I was going for and I love them so much. So I got this hoodie from Alchemy. It's so pretty. Like, if you guys don't already know who my fam is, she's a YouTuber that I love. She's so cool. And she started her own clothing brand. It's called Alchemy. And this is the hoodie. I got it right before it sold out, which I was so happy about. And on the front, it says, it's not what we do that changes the world. It's who we become, which I love. And then the back is, like, the, it's, it's just so perfect, like, I need every every color in this, every, I, I just need it. It's amazing. <laughs> then I went to the thrift store and I thrifted a few things. So first off, I got these like gray, kind of like cargo pants. They kind of have like the waistband and like fit of sweatpants, but they look more like a cargo parachute pant. They're gray. And then while I was at the thrift store, I also got this gray long sleeve. It's a good basic, but something about this shirt makes me feel so cute. And also this shirt is so soft and pretty. And yeah, I was so, so happy that I was able to thrift it. Okay, next, I I got a few things from Cider, which was a brand that I had never tried before. First off, I got this zip up hoodie and it has this adorable little bear in it. As you guys know, I love stuffed animals, I love bears, so I, I just had to get this, I had to get it. And also, I love the color. And then also from Cider, I got these gray sweatpants that I'm wearing right now. I love them so much. They kind of have like pockets, kind of like cargo vibes. And then I got two things from Brandy Melville, and I know that Brandy is a little bit controversial, um, but I just, I can't help it. Like their clothes are so good. Like their basics are the best basics I've tried. Um, and like their shirts just like, they last so long and they fit so well. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I know that they're not the best brand to shop from, but something in me just like cannot help it. Um, but the first thing that I got is this top from Brandy. It's absolutely gorgeous and dainty. It just has like these little flowers. It's long sleeve. I've already worn this a few times and I always just feel cute and confident when I'm wearing it. So I love it. Then also from Brandy, I got this shirt. It's just like a good basic. Once again, it has that really wide neckline. This is probably like the widest neckline that I've worn so far, but I really like it. Like I feel so cute in it. Um, and I love this shirt. It's a good, just like basic. Hi guys. So, whoa, why is my voice echoing? Anyway, so I'm editing this video right now and I realized 
I literally forgot like the most important thing. Also, I'm filming this on my iPhone instead of my MacBook for like the editing Erica because I just got a new like laptop and for some reason the photo booth looks really weird and it doesn't look good. So I might be doing my editing Erica's on my iPhone instead of my laptop. Anyway, that is completely irrelevant, um, off topic, off point. I wanted to show you guys this hoodie that I got from this small business called Worth the World. And first of all, it is so, so cute and I love it. And I love the color and they actually sent it to me a while ago and I was meaning to like share it with a video on you guys because it's literally incredible the business just needs so much more recommend recommend rec recognition it needs so much more recognition it is a small business run entirely by two teenage girls which we love to see their main goal is to spread awareness about like mental health so 10 percent of their profits go to the jed foundation i'll put their instagram up on the screen so you guys can check them out and i'll also link their website but they have so so many cute hoodies the one that i got is dark blue as i already showed you and it says start somewhere and go from there it has this really cute flower i love wearing this hoodie for some reason i haven't like shared it with you guys yet which is so weird because like i love it i obsessed with it um i also have a code you guys can use and i forget what it is but i'll put it up on the screen but yeah thank you so much to worth the world for sending this to me i'm obsessed so definitely go check them out and then i saved the best for last i got a new pair of shoes they are the new balance 550s this is my new favorite pair of shoes they're so so cute i've been wanting a pair of 550s for a long time but i just never was willing to splurge or like invest in it but i was like you know what i'm already getting all this stuff why not get a new pair of shoes to kick off the new year I love that. probably just best purchase ever like i love them so much So it has been a few weeks since I filmed this entire video, all that footage, and I know that it's February now and that it's a little late to post this video and it's sad, but we're doing what I can. I'm doing my best, but I just received a very, very um, exciting package in the mail from YouTube. It is my 1 million, or should I say R? 1 million subscriber plaque as some of you guys might have already noticed we did hit a million subscribers like over a month ago and i did this whole thing over my instagram to like celebrate hitting a million i did a giveaway i already shipped off the package to the giveaway winner but i realized that i never did anything on my actual youtube channel to like show my appreciation and thanks for hitting a million subscribers but yeah anyway i'm gonna go ahead and open this up and also i'm really really trying not to show you guys my address So I'm not gonna read this whole note, but they have this really like sweet, amazing note, and then it's signed by the CEO of YouTube, which I don't know if it's actually signed by the CEO of YouTube, but if it is, that's really cool. So thank you, YouTube, for that. And then we have the beautiful plaque with my name on it. Sorry, I'm like freaking out right now. This is insane. <gasps> I can see. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm like, I literally mean this from the bottom of my heart. I love each and every one of you guys so, so, so much. And like, you don't understand how much this has changed my life from making videos on my parents' iPad at like age eight to nine to now making videos for over a million people um, on the internet <laughs> is absolutely insane. And I know that I haven't met a lot of you guys, but the people, like the few that I have met out in public, like just at a bookstore, at the mall, every single one of you guys I have met has been the sweetest, most beautiful, most like amazing person. And yeah, I love getting to know you guys. I'm so excited to get to know more of you guys in the future. Um, and I also just love interacting with you in the comments. I know that I can't respond to every single one like I used to be able to, but I still love reading them. And I love interacting with you guys as much as I can and yeah like you guys have been with me through so much and I know that there's so much more to come and I'm so excited to continue hopefully improving my content and creating more and more content for you guys yeah but thank you guys so so much for this um if you're watching this that means you're a real one because you stay till the end of the video and you're amazing and I love you guys thank you Anyway, I'm gonna stop freaking out and fangirling. Um, also, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I have like two other videos that I just recently filmed, so I'm gonna post those ASAP and I have some fun video ideas planned for this year. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.